pitch from Evans is a ball one. Starting pitcher and leadoff hitter will also DH when he comes out of the ball game as the pitcher tonight. Sends the second pitch in the air to center field, and Ben Anderson battles the sun and brings it in for out number one. As a freshman, batted 357 with 10 homers and 60 RBI. Ball is hit in the air, Justin Thomas. Sunglasses flashing as he looks up into the sky, has it for out number three. And the Owls go one, two, three in the first. Dogs batting when we get back. Out of him this evening. 2-1 pitch. That ball is hit in the air to center field. Ben Anderson reacts and heads back to the track and makes the grab out there just a few steps onto the track. Out number one. Unfortunately, twisted his ankle in his final A-B against the Dolphins on Sunday. That ball is hit in the air to left field. Connor Tate coming over, has it for out number three. So once again, a three-up, three-down inning for Jarvis Evans. Hasn't caught a lot in his career, not only not at Georgia, but also at Sanford, too, has always been the third-team catcher. Wild throw by the Owls and the shortstop Richardson, and that'll be an error on Kennesaw State. Is in the two. 3-0 pitch to Murillo, and that's going to be ball four. Two aboard for Georgia here in the second. Gould in Peachtree City. 3-1 pitch to Josh Tate, nearly hit him, and that's ball four. The bases are loaded. That's what they're hoping for. 1-1 pitch to Thomas. Right back up the middle, base hit. That's going to score David from third. Here comes the throw to the plate, and sliding in head first, Murillo, and the Bulldogs have a 2-0 lead on a two-run single by Justin Thomas. No rubber like that, but they, they seem to have success with it. Ball is hit in the air to deep left field. Tagging from third and scoring is Josh Tate. And it's now 3-0 as Ben Anderson drives home the run. 1-1 one, one pitch from Evans, slow tapper on the infield. Evans has to get over and cover the bag, which he handles very easily, and there's one down. Although Spencer Hansen's got a higher batting average, just doesn't have enough as a qualifier. Swing and a miss. David picks it up, throws him out, and that ends the inning. The three at 371 now. He was eighth in the conference at the start of the game. And that ball is lined into left center field for a base hit. As Cole comes up to make the play on the hop. Runner goes. Ball is hit towards the gap in center field. It's going to drop. Connor Tate looks back, touches third. Here he comes. Ball got by the center fielder. He will score easily. And that's going to be an RBI double for Will David as Georgia takes a 4 1 lead. And have a 9-7 lead on games played here at Foldy Field. Cash goes down, swinging. Five strikeouts now for Jarvis Evans. Ball in the air to right field. Thomas going back at the track, still retreating, has it for out number three. Raydans gets out of the inning. It's 4-2 dogs heading to the bottom half. An 8-7 loss, 2-2 pitch. That ball is... Hit in the air, Murillo backtracked and then had to come in. Has to offer with his arm. That ball is socked to center field, but Anderson's got it tracked as he ranges to his right for out number three. And the Owls strand Cole at first. Heading to the bottom half, 4-2 Georgia. Condon is 0 for 1 tonight. He is now 1 for 2. Base hit for Charlie Condon. He was actually hitting behind Tate. Ball is hit to right field. That's going to get down. Could be extra bases. Tate touches first, heads to second. Condon is going to be held at third base as the throw comes in. And wisely done, Scott Daly threw up the stop sign. It's loaded here for Murillo. Ball goes to the backstop. Here comes Condon. Play at the plate, and he's going to be safe. Condon got his hand in there. Full count, Greenler, 3-2 pitch, got him. Of what the strike zone is, you're just not sure. Colina rolls that one to Condon, and Condon's going to step on the bag just in front of Colina for out number three. Three up, three down for Greenler and the Dogs. That runner from advancing. 3-2 pitch, that ball is hit in the air. Right center field, Justin Thomas coming over to his right. 
makes the play, throw comes in, no tag from Hassan, and there's one down. Edson does all right against left-handed pitching. He's 308 on the season. In the air, right side of the infield, Morello calls everybody off and makes the play for the final out. Last five in, it'll be interesting to see where D1 baseball has them when the next projections come out. Long high throw, pulls the first baseman off the bag and Connor Tate is safe. But over just about as, as well as it uh, is with the fans with the Kennesaw State dugout. Ball goes through, Mims' glove into left field. That'll be the second error of the night on Kennesaw State. You know, you go out there, you take your medicine. Tate, ball gets away, here comes the runner, sliding home safe. Tate beat it. That ball did not get that far away from Hassan. It just kind of trickled away from him. And Connor Tate is able to score, and it's six to three. There, the better he gets, and some of his outings just come with a lot of time in between. 0-1 is stroke to left field. Connor Tate going to his left, right in front of the track, runs it down for out number one, and Corbin retired. See who the dogs have in store for the ninth. That ball is hit to left field, but they got up underneath it. Not enough there to get it out of here, and Connor Tate makes the grab in left field for the final out. And Condon here in the bottom of the eighth. And the ball, nice play by Mims, up, throws, pulls the first baseman off the bag, and safe at first base is LaPlante. Game homestand. 2-2 pitch, chopper up the middle. They'll toss to second. They do not get the out there. Quick toss from Richardson to Corbin, and Corbin could not hold on to it. Reached on an error, walk, that double that I mentioned. That's a line drive, base hit. LaPlante scores. Here comes Anderson, he scores. Tate, as the ball goes to the wall, he's going to score. And a three-run double for Will David. Anderson wants to live, is down there at the knees. 2-2, two -two, chopper on the infield, LaPlante. Touches second, gets the lead runner there, one down in the inning. Oh, take a fastball right in the face, yeah, I'll probably skip that. One, two, did he go? They appeal down to first, and he is out on strikes. Led to that five-run inning. 3-1 pitch from Quinnichette, that's ball four, and the Dogs have the winning run at first base. Ball's in a strike, Anderson still showing bunt, takes it high. So first and second, Dogs have the winning run at second base. 2-0 from Quinnichette. That ball is drilled to left field. It's going to be dropped, and the Dogs win. Fourth error of the night for Kennesaw State. Leaves the door open for the Dogs to walk through with a walk-off win. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Definitely a weird ending to a weird game right there.